In this section, we'll finally start building our application. We'll see some theoretical concepts about client-server communication and go straight to the point where we build the application's homepage. This video is all about HTTP protocol and client-server communication. TCPIP stands for Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol and defines how devices should communicate over the Internet. Hypertext Transfer Protocol is one of the reasons why TCPIP protocol is interesting to use. HTTP defines the communication between server and browser. HTTPS is the secure HTTP typically used to handle sensitive data. HTTP is a stateless protocol. In other words, each request is handled independently of other requests. And hence, an HTTP call has no access to the call before. For example, sometimes an application needs to keep track of data, or a page needs to be partially updated and this could be problematic with a stateless protocol. And that's where technologies like cookies or AJAX come to our rescue. Cookies are pieces of data stored in the user's web browser to save information. Have you noticed the Remember Me functionality when you log in some website? Often, it is based on the concept of a cookie. And more recently, on HTML5 local storage. For example, the first time you use Remember Me, a cookie is stored on your web browser and on your next visit, the application recognises you and performs an automatic login. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. An AJAX call is useful in many operations. For example, it can be used when you want to load only a part of a web page like the number of likes you have received on a post or adding a comment to an image without being redirected to another page. We will be using cookies and AJAX calls in our application later. Now, let's see the anatomy of a request and response in PHP. PHP doesn't have a native representation for the HTTP request response cycle but some implementations are being introduced by PHP Frameworks and the PHP community with the PSR 7. A request is composed by the HTTP request method, the host which is usually a URL, the HTTP protocol version, one or more HTTP headers and the request body. The application will handle the request and provide a response composed by the status. The protocol version, one or more HTTP headers, and response body. To make it clearer, we can describe a login process. Let's assume we are in a login page and we filled up the username and password fields. When we press the login button, we are making a post request to some URL and we are sending our credential data. The web application should reply with a response of status 200 OK sending back the home page body content. In this video, we saw how the client-server communication takes place. 